Coach. How are you guys? Well, it's Tuesday. Happy Halloween. These are my new little ears. Doot, 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 doot. You gotta clean them. You gotta clean them out before you put them on. Better to hear you with. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to touch base with you about the energy that will be for tomorrow. So, the last time we spoke was, I think, the new moon in Libra. So, this is a, a full circle, okay? At the end of this week, Friday, will be the full moon in Taurus, okay? So, October 5th was the last full moon that we had, which was in Aries, which is theory and self and ego and I, me, my, and it's a youthful sign, right? And then, shortly after that, Jupiter went into Scorpio, October 10th, while the sun was in Libra. So that's when all the fires started, getting out of control. Aries is a fire sign. Scorpio is deep transformation and clearing. It's ruled by Pluto. Just mows everything down that's, you know, to rebuild. All these fires were happening. People's homes got lost, their families and their memories. So that was a huge transformational time. Then we had the new moon shortly after that, which was in Libra. And Libra, that was on October 19th. And the sun entered Scorpio on October 22nd, shortly after that new moon. So the new moon in Libra is all about relationship, partnership, and balance between light and dark, Masculine and feminine, giving and receiving. Um, it's all about harmony, okay? So, and that is a great time that that came along, right? Because after all that dis destruction that happened by Mother Nature, the, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, and the fires, it connected the community and connected everyone together to help out, right? So, we could have found ourselves donating to causes going out to volunteer to help the victims, and all of that sorts. So now we're having the full moon in Taurus. And I will be doing that video another day. I really just wanted to focus on the tomorrow's energy report for Halloween. Okay, for tomorrow, Tuesday, October 31st is Halloween. The sun has now joined Jupiter and Mercury and Scorpio. Dum, dum, dum. Scorpio's everywhere. Scorpio is in our communication. It's in our ambition, our education. It's in our, you know, personality. Now we're just all transforming. We don't know our ass from our elbow. Mercury is exactly trying the moon in Pisces and the moon is conjunct Chiron. What does this mean? Oh, it means craziness. That's what it means. So this transit will open the communication gates for healing, okay? So this will allow you to express your fears and tackle them. Once you have verbalized this with another person or yourself if you're not in any relationships or friendships which would be weird um, because we have relationships and friendships with um, people and our family members and our significant others so this will help like if we just speak it out this is going to help diffuse the power that the fear holds over us and our lives. And it will help transmute the negative energy into positive energy. Okay? So that's what we want. We want to be like energy shifter, shape shifters. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. Um, but the moon is conjunct Chiron. Okay? So I believe that not only... The earth is going through its natural clearing and transformation, but we are too because we're a part of this earth, okay? This is our home base. So a huge blessing from Chiron showered us with its magic in the sky a week ago. I think it was last weekend. 
So this is this transformation and a starting over for earth is also a turning over for us humans as well. So we're awakening to our true soul energetic self. This clearing is helping us see what is that is important to us, but who we want to be and what energy we want to embody. Okay, for this new chapter, this new ascended self, this new era, you know, we're actually catching up with the universal energy in our, in our galaxy. Okay, so also for twin flames, they're going through a huge breakthrough and a balancing of the yin and yang energies, the masculine and the feminine, how to let go of any fears or resistance and just going with the flow, okay? Not forcing anything along and not running or resisting anything. So just being and floating, okay? And going along with the river as well as the collective, okay? So we're finding our balance between the Eve energy and the Lilith polarities, okay? So it's stepping into more of the twin flame energy of togetherness and mindful living. So if you don't know about the Lilith and Eve, a couple of my other videos I mentioned, the Afucus energy. Uh, I will be posting a improv soon about the Eve energy polarities and um, the higher... Uh, energies of each of those and the lower. So we'll be putting that video up shortly. But to get back to this, things are becoming more and more clear as the veil gets thinner and thinner. And what do I mean about veil? I mean, this is the whole reason why we have um, Halloween and dressing up in masks is because the curtain between the physical realm and the spiritual uh, realm is being lifted, okay? So the veil between the communication is thinner. Uh, so, peop, you know, energies from the other side could, you know, creep on in a lot easier. But... It's also a good thing because we can connect with our uh, spirit guides. We could have a better connection with God um, as well as our ancestors. But in that, there is positive and negative energies um, that come in. So wearing those masks will scare away the, the negative energies and keep the good ones around. So be open to listening to your higher self during this transit. There could be a lot of fears that could be coming up. Um, that our old karmic stagnant en energy that's clouding our clarity in our true desires that we have for our lives. Okay. So we can also be experiencing fears around having our dreams and desires come true in the three dimensional reality. Okay. There's one thing about wanting something and there's another thing about getting it. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but Sometimes when we make, let's say, okay, I really want to backpack and travel the world for a year. Okay, that's been one of my goals since I was a kid. Okay, now, if that were to actually happen, I automatically, I don't know, I think it's an unconscious thing. Like, okay, well then my life's goal is already done and accomplished and what's the point of continuing? I mean, I guess I'd have to make another goal or seek out something outside of just that. But sometimes just having the fear of dreams and desires really coming true, it, the fear is real, okay? Because then we have to try to figure out what we want next to keep um, mot motivation in the three-dimensional reality. Um, so be aware of the downloads that you're getting and ask yourself, are these of my intuition or is this of an insecure fear-based delusion? Okay, so ask yourself these probing questions and get more clear. Um, that's kind of what I've been focusing on because, you know, when we have intuitions and some people that have the gift of uh, prophecy or psychic abilities and they're still um, babies in it, 
it it's um very unclear between what is real and what is not okay what is what is a spirit guide energy and what is a negative energy that is based on fear um that's just protecting yourself okay so knowing those two differences is important so venus in libra will be opposing pars of fortune and uranus as well so venus is the home of partnership and is a fine line between love and hate light and dark etc okay it's being challenged by our ego unpredictable aspect of ourselves that just wants freedom and to be happy doing whatever that we want okay the thing about relationships with others is that we are a mirror or they are a mirror that help you see your flaws and faults and that could be really scary for some okay especially if you have no makeup on or your complexion is really bad and the last thing you want is your grandma's magnifying mirror with the bright light on your fucked up face a wonderful thing about healthy relationships is that you receive and you give the unconditional love that allows you to accept and love all the aspects of ourselves. So yeah, there are some things that will be pointed out, however, and this will help guide us to the things that we need to adjust and become better, not only for our partners, but for ourselves. So remember, freedom is found in speaking your truth and having others really listen and lovingly give what is needed. So sometimes it just takes another person to say what they want and then the other person may be on the same page and they just didn't have the, the balls to say it. I got, I got big balls. balls. She's, She's got, got big got balls. balls. But I've, I've got, got the biggest, biggest balls of them all. So speak your truth and you might be surprised as to what you get back. Try not to entertain impulsivity during this time in action or speaking during this transit because it could just come out wrong. A little quote that I wanted to put is the only way to discover the limits of the possibilities is to venture past them into the impossible. Sun conjunct Jupiter as well. So you will feel a sense of adventure and giving. You will feel euphoric and you might feel though you're walking like in a dream like state. Note to self about discerning the difference between intuitions and illusions. That's a lot of information I just gave you guys, but there's a lot of things that are going on for tomorrow. So overall, this full moon in Taurus is about what we love and value and making it our reality. Taurus is our earthly human experience. It rules the five senses and it's a fixed energy, earth energy, that sustains and gives us a rest after a long trek up a mountain. So enjoy your harvest that you've worked so hard to produce. And now is also a great time to start putting some attention on what you want your diet to look like, your daily routines, your fitness, your finances, your real estate, your personal resources, and pretty much just figuring out what garden you want to grow for the next time. Oh my God, Lilith, why did you just fall off the couch, like on your back? She didn't fall on her feet. Oh, what an idiot. I thought you were a cat. I thought all cats land on their feet. That's weird, Lilith. Do you have something to say about that? Okay, so the mutable energy is right around the corner where we will be experiencing maybe some fast-paced energy, unstable, kind of all over the place, not knowing what to expect and where you're going, but you will be going somewhere you were meant to go. 
So hold on to your panties. And for the guys, hold on to your boxers. That being said, let go and float, okay? Try not to be so stubborn and set in your way. Be malleable, like the elasticity of our brain, just as the universe that surrounds us. All right, peace out, guys. Make it a spooky, spectacular Halloween. Halloween. I was a bat, and now I'm a cat. Meow, meow. You want to say hello? Kitty, meow, meow. Hey, Lily. Hey, little baby, Lily. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And don't and forget, don't forget to, to like my videos, videos, subscribe to my, subscribe my channel, my channels, and, and share, share the wealth well of knowledge of lucid of living. living. Karina. Karina. Here, dear, alone with all your letters.